that's a little comic how are you doing uh morning chicholi goes it's late afternoon here late afternoon early morning for me and regarding ebay requiring because for those that don't know ebay sent out a notice a month and a half ago or something like this uh, saying that they now require sellers to provide their banking information because they are no longer going to transfer uh m sales funds from sales to paypal anymore they need to transfer it to your bank account which to me is insane because it should be up to the seller to decide where they want the inform they want the money to go to right why don't they have an option to say oh you want to transfer to uh bitpay paypal bank account wherever else you wanted to transfer it to why is it necessarily bank account my take on this is because ebay is trying to generate decentralize themselves from just making money off sales they're trying to generate create a new stream of revenue which is data mining people right regarding bank account information and that goes hand in hand with what they're requiring new listings to be because at the same time they're changing their way that people have to list information so when you go to list a comic book i went to list some more comic books i said hell no i'm not going to go through all this right now they want you know they, they have different fields saying uh who did the cover art who are the artists when was it published where was it published? all this information right and if you don't fill that stuff in then in the searches the odds are your listing will not be one of the top ones because it's missing some of the fields right so they're trying to become a data mining company is it going to work i don't know i think they're going to take a hit or two in their next few earnings report because people like me and independent sellers which i don't know what percent of sales on ebay are independent sellers but they may not list comic books because it's a huge hassle to to list comic books now right and what's that going to do is most likely maybe if there's less sellers on ebay kick up the price of products so they might make more money off that but as a buyer i might say you know what this is too expensive now i'm going to go somewhere else to get my purchase okay so we'll see how this plays out that's my take on why uh ebay is doing what it's doing and how to technocrats are maneuvering to prevent disruptive innovation and there are challenges coming on to legacy tech companies that have been around for the last 20 years right last 15 to 20 years they're seeing major uh, pressure on them from alternative disruptive innovation new tech coming in to take a piece of the pie which is a fantastic thing if you believe in decentralization which is basically giving uh allowing markets to dictate uh what we can consume where we can go what information we can read who we can do business with which is really on the same level as why cryptocurrencies have come into play why all these new tech is coming to play why you're seeing pressure on stocks on certain tech uh legacy tech companies okay that's my take we'll see how it plays out aside from that welcome to another comic book stream comic book hall good morning from san diego good morning xander how are you doing 